my channel i am neha parashar working in a healthcare company and based in germany in last video we saw what are the points that we should consider when selecting the notify body in today's video we will see what are the gmp requirements for us and for eu combination products are regulated differently in us and eu right and it's important to understand the gmp requirement for these products in both the reason so let's start first with us as i explained this in detail in first video of this series that in us there is a separate regulation related to combination products in us combination products are regulated by fda cda cber or cdrh depending on the primary mode of action of the product the gmp requirement for combination products in us are outlined in cfr part 4 The CFR Part 4 specifies that combination products must comply for both drug and device GMP requirement. There is also the specific guidance from US FDA for combination products, which will be helpful for you to understand the GMP regulation for combination products in detail. Basically, in US, there are two options. First, comply with all the GMP requirement for drug part, and also the requirement for device part. Meaning, as we know, for drug, the GMP requirement falls under CFR Part 210 or 11, and for biological, it falls under CFR Part 600 to 610. For devices, the GMP requirement falls under 21 CFR Part 820. So, if you have combination product, you need to follow all these requirements. This was bit complex, right? Why you need to follow all the individual requirement for all the components when you had some or other elements common in these specific regulations? To address this, FDA introduced the streamlined approach in 2018. The streamlined approach is a new framework for GMP compliance for combination products. It is intended to simplify the GMP requirements and reduce the regulatory burden for manufacturers of combination products. Also, these requirement have some common elements right you so, can show compliance to those common elements and then you can fulfill the specific requirements of other component this way we no longer have to show the compliance with both drug and device gmp requirements separately let's understand with this example for example if the primary mode of action of your product is drug the manufacturer can choose to comply with the drug gmp requirements and in addition follow only this part of the device gmp similarly if the primary mode of action is that of device the manufacturer can choose to comply with the device gmp requirement mentioned in 21 cfr part 820 and in addition follow only this part of the drug gmp right so isn't it a good initiative from fda Yes it is this makes the job much easier and streamlined and that's the purpose of this new streamlined approach now let's move to the eu as we discussed in eu there is no separate regulation for combination products so your product will either be regulated as medicinal product or medical device depending on the primary mode of action so if the primary mode of action is due to drug then you need to fulfill the general drugs gmp requirement along with the risk management following the principle of ich q9 ich14917 and eu mdr so this was the difference in gmp requirement for combination products in us Now before we end this video do you know how the dosier content differs for US and for EU for these combination products if you know the answer then let me know in the comment section if not then don't worry we'll discuss that in the next upcoming videos till then let's stay tuned